everybody thanks for watching thanks for tuning in um and taking your time to watch my videos uh comment and uh, subscribe and i really appreciate all you guys um today we're gonna be building the i'll show you how i built the brake brake pedal assembly for this uh I built a brake pedal assembly um put in a new master cylinder new brake lines and then we got them all hooked up and bled out um and so i'll show you how i did that um, it's a little different. I've looked on eBay for brake pedal assemblies. They're like 100 bucks. I made this one for like 30. So, you know, save, save some money there. The master cylinder, I bought a new one. I'll go over part numbers with that with y'all. Um, I was also able to get a new stall for this thing. I, I mentioned in the last video that it was having trouble stalling um, or that the stall was too tight. And I replaced it and it made a world of difference in this car. Um, now, I was able to... After I got every, all the brakes fixed on it and set up, I was able. I just was able to put it on the brakes. The brakes hold the stall. Um, I was able to get it up to probably 2,000, 2,500 RPMs, and the brakes held good. So I'm happy with all that. So the car is um, mechanically. I feel like it's mechanically sound right now to go make a pass. Um, I there's. I don't think there's any leaks. I need to spray everything down on the bottom side with the brake fluid, or not brake fluid with a brake parts cleaner. And uh, just make sure that everything's uh, everything's good. I got an engine diaper I need to put on it. So maybe in the next video we'll go over that. But for this video, I didn't get any footage of me putting the brake, uh, the torque converter in. Um, however, I did video of me, or you know, I got content of making the master cylinder or the brake pedal assembly. So uh, I hope y'all like it, um, and we'll see you at the end. All right, guys and gals. So here's what I got going on with the brake system. This is like a homemade brake pedal and the master cylinder fills right here in the floor now this is like i don't know what it's out of but you can see it's not level it's 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 trash okay um got all new brakes on the rear uh brake lines brake hoses all that um the front it's the rear calipers are actually the same calipers that are on the front um now the front brakes do work right now the rear is blocked off or plugged off actually the line's bent and um it doesn't work However, this is a bunch of junk, and I want to show you what I got going on here um, underneath the car, actually, because it gives you a better idea of how all this is. So, let's see if you can see this. Um, you see how all this is done? Now you're going to lose it again because my lighting's terrible, but see how it's all rigged up? This pedal's down here. This is actually doesn't even give me a very good brake ratio right um and then it's got a rod like this is all homemade stuff and i don't like it now there's nothing wrong with homemade stuff because that's what i'm fixing to do also um however i'm going to do my firewall mount and i'll show you what i got to do that with okay so let's go back here all right i picked up a master cylinder this is a um part number nm1505 okay and this is the same master cylinder i have on the 55 it has both front and rear disc brakes however this master cylinder is for front and rear drum brakes and with a, without a booster since i'm not going to be running a booster this came off like a 68 um impala or they use them on novas a lot of stuff like that so this is a drum on drum master cylinder um, I'm not going to run any proportion valves or anything like that with it, and it works great. I've used it before, um, and I have all the correlating fittings that'll go from these ports to 3 16 like this one. I have to use two to get to that, um, and this is a T for the brake line or for the brake lights. I'll use this and one of those little pressurized brake light sensors, um, 3 16 to an eighth inch MPT. Um, this is for my rear hose, brake line hose, to go to 3 16 line. And then this is the other one for this master cylinder to go from 9 16 to 3 16 Okay, so we have those. Those are all the correlating fittings. However, um, I do want to say this. Whoever is going to the local parts store and buying a brake line, how come every, first off, how come every time I go get a brake line that's over, I don't know, two foot long, they're bent? Every one of these, look at them. Look at this one. Can you see that? This is a brand new brake line. All right, this one 
this one's the only decent one, right? But I had to pull some kinks out of the other end down there to get this to get this slide by. Um, and this one, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to do that. This one has actually been into an S. So, look, these things are three bucks. If you go and buy one of these and you bend it wrong, keep it. I do the same thing. Look, let me show you my sh my collection of them. Okay, I got a collection of brake lines up there. Um, you know, but I use the spares in case I need one. However, um, don't take these back and punish the rest of them with your mistakes. Okay, rest of us with your mistakes. So, done with my rant on that. Um, because I went to like four different parts stores looking for straight brake lines and none of them were straight. Um, so, um, back to the master cylinder. I'm going to mount this on the firewall. Uh, I'll show you my, I'm going to make my own brake pedal assembly, okay? Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I went to my local BYOT, one of my favorite hangouts. Bring your own tools, pick apart, whatever you want to call it. And I pulled this off of a 62 Impala. It is, it car had manual brakes. But I want you to notice something. Look how, look at the ratio on this thing. This is probably what, two inches from the pivot point to where the push rod is. And then it's probably... 12 inches down here so you have a really good it's like a six to one pedal ratio so you won't need power brakes now if you plan on doing something like this don't go get one out of something with power brakes because you're not gonna be able to push it it's gonna be too hard to push it's gonna give you enough leverage to do it so what i plan on doing is cutting a uh taking a piece of that four by four square tubing or four by four inch plate that i use for the brackets i got some left over that and then that angle iron and I'm going to make um, a master cylinder mount or a brake pedal assembly out of it using this brake pedal and this master cylinder. And then I went and got a uh, hole saw. Um, look, I went and got this. It was actually three extra dollars. This was the, the hole saw by itself was 13 and it was like uh, 16 bucks to get it with a new arbor. So I got a new arbor also um, that fits this size. Now, if you watch my last video, I was very impressed by these drill bits. I'm telling you, Milwaukee makes a good hole saw. It drilled through a, like a half inch of um of plate, or uh, well, there it's four pieces, quarter inch. It drilled like through a whole, whole inch of um uh mild steel plate, which I was impressed. And it's still a good drill a hole saw bit. So um, if you're gonna buy one, go ahead and get the quality one. Um, so uh, that's about it. Let me uh, get some plate out, get some measurements, and I'll show you how I'm going to um, going to how to do, how I'm going to do this. So uh, let's get started. We got the old brake pedal assembly out. Um, you can see this is brake pedal went on here like this. I would pivot over to that, and then push this long rod, um, and then this is how it was all held on underneath the car. I don't know what this master cylinder is out of. Um, 
Now look, I do want to say something. Earlier I said it was junk. Look, this apparently this worked for a long time, so I'm not going to call somebody else's work junk. But um, what I am going to say is when it comes to my life on the line, I'm going to put my own version of this in there so that no one else can be blamed, okay? Because brakes, um, brakes are an important thing. So, um, apparently it worked. It was a little sloppier than what I would like, all right? So here is what um, I have come up with. You can't see it, let me take it back in the shade over here. This is my version of a brake pedal assembly for this car. Now, this part right here will mount onto the roll cage, um, mount to the firewall, I got a gusset in here, I don't know, factory brake pedal. It should work pretty decent. Um, now, let me get you installed, or I guess I'm gonna go ahead and install it, and uh, I'll see how I go about it. Hopefully I get a decent angle on all this. All right, so this is about as close as I get. We've got the pedal installed, the assembly. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I will weld this part to the roll cage. Um, and I may need to extend this um, push rod a little bit. We'll see. It's got quite a bit of brake travel. Um, but we'll see once we get a little closer. I'll show you what it looks like on the front. Here we go. Now, um, this has a self bleeders this master learner came with self bleeders so um you can see it's a little flimsy still so but once i weld it up it'll uh it'll stiffen all that up keep it from rattling as much probably won't film that because there's not really a good angle of it however i do think it looks more uniform in here uh eventually i'd like to get this transmission tunnel out and this drive shaft tunnel um and put in like a factory style one and then get rid of this that's a little shabby looking however um if you ever look at a brake pedal assembly they always go from the firewall to the steering column mount they're like you know sometimes they'd be 12 13 inches long so that's basically where i got the ideal of all, for all this um now also i will need some sort of spring i do believe to retract this pedal um I'm not really sure we'll see here shortly um but uh next thing we're gonna do is get some brake fluid in it you know what, next thing I'm probably going to do is bend up some brake lines. I'll go ahead and get the fittings in here and uh, we'll bend the brake lines and attach them down underneath the car. Um, and then take them off and bleed the master cylinder. And then go ahead and bleed the brake lines out before we hook them up to where they go. That way we have as much fluid in there. We're, we're not chasing too many air bubbles. Now there's going to be some, but we won't be chasing as many. So uh, let's get started on that.
thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think about all of it. Um, please drop me some comments. If you don't like it, you know, if you think this video deserves a thumbs down, tell me why. Um, I, I appreciate it. I like your feedback. Um, and look, I'm not, this is all a learning curve. Like, I, I'm, one, I'm one of the people, or I feel like you're never too smart to learn something. I, you can always take something from anybody. So uh, if you have comments on why you think I should do it better, or it, that goes for any of my videos. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a teachable person. So if you feel like there's something I sh need to know, please, please share the information with me. Um, other than that, look, I thank y'all for watching. Thank, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you back next time. Thanks.